Good morning, welcome back to the Perkins Garages YouTube channel for a Mac E walk around video. Before we get started, why don't you join the other 600 YouTube subscribers and never miss a minute of our content again. If you like this video, please like the video. And if you did have any questions or comments, you guessed it, leave them in the comments section below. This here is a carbon grey Ford Mustang Mac E premium extended range all wheel drive. That features the 98 kilowatt hour battery that's going to deliver you on the WLTP scale 293 miles of range. Overall, taking advantage of the kinetic energy recovery system, that could be up to 372 miles of range. 0 to 60 doesn't hang about 5.8 seconds, and that is delivering 580 newton meters of torque. We are registered on a 2021 registration. That will mean we have Ford warranty with us until June 2024. The vehicle itself is on just under 12,000 miles, but like always, I'll get the exact number once we're on the dash in a moment. So sit tight and let me walk you around this lovely Mac E Mustang. So we're going to begin at the front and I'm just going to wake up the daytime running lights using the remote central locking. Now a little disclaimer, they're going to be flashing simply because the frequency in which my camera records at. But let me assure you, in real life, they look amazing. So these inside the flashy daytime running bit are the fully adaptive LED signature headlights. So some of the best headlights on the market today. Just below we have your first front parking sensor and they trail all the way along the front lip of the bumper. Underneath the bonnet there we have a frunk, a uh, front trunk if you like. Uh, that provides some uh, really lovely storage space. Just above the pony we also have a front facing camera. So that's part of the 360 cameras. I'll show you those on the amazing 15.5 inch touchscreen in a moment. Just below it, we have the active aero grill. So when things do start to get a bit hot, we can open up the flaps to let a nice cool air into the motor section. As we're coming round to the offside, we can see a gorgeous 19 inch machine cut alloy wheel. So you've got the nice silver shiny face with a gloss black just behind it. And they are fitted with Bridgestone tires, a standard. Again, 12,000 miles have been driven on these tires. So you've got plenty of miles remaining yeah before we go any further let's have a look inside the sound screen inside the sound screen we have a sensor there for the auto lights when it gets dark the lights come on quite self-explanatory up there we have another couple and one of them is going to be for the traffic sign recognition software and equally we have one there for the auto wipers that is a panoramic glass roof um, it, obviously it just looks like a black painted roof but once you're inside it lets an abundance of light inside the cabin. Coming back down to earth now, we've discovered, uh, we've discussed the wheel. We've got the Mac E4 times four, so that is the four wheel drive. This vehicle has a lovely driver assistance pack fitted. That includes things such as blind spot assist. So that little image of the two cars there will illuminate orange if someone's in your blind spot, either on the near side or the off side. We have the Mustang keypad entry system. And that is twinned beautifully with the keyless entry. So if I was just to pan out slightly so you can see what I'm doing. So I've locked the vehicle. What we can do is click on this button. Now unlock the vehicle like so. Power folding and heated door mirrors. And click on the lock button once more. And that will lock the vehicle. So you've got the key in your pocket, your handbag or anywhere like that. You don't have to snatch around trying to find the key. Simply click the button. And look how the door opens as well. Beautiful. We'll cover the interior in a second, so just hold your horses. You pardon the pun. Now we're at the offside rear of the vehicle. We're going to show you a bit of the condition. Let's get a uh, little friend off there. Look, sorry about that, mate. Uh, we're going to start nice and high. Now we're going to shimmy our way down this lovely body of this Mackie. And so you can see just how wonderful the body is. Let me just go back to normal zoom there. Like so. I'm going to pan that round to the offside rear wheel. So we're going to make our way around the rear of the vehicle now. You can see your first rear parking sensor. This has the Ford Active Park Assist. So it'll quite literally park itself for you. So it uses the front and rear parking sensors to gain a, uh, the length of the space to allow you to park into it. And that is complemented with a high definition rear vision camera. Again I'll show you the cameras on the touch screen in a moment but they look fantastic. 
to the near side of the vehicle now again we're going to give it the exact same treatment we're going to start nice and high and we're going to shimmy our way down the vehicle so hopefully you can see just how wonderful all the bodywork is so that links around to the near side rear wheel and we're going to follow the trim all the way to the near side front wheel the near side front is where the vehicle is charged from so again it's a 98 kilowatt hour battery and this at the top here is an ac type 2 charging port that will support up to about 11 kilowatts an hour charging typically the little pods you get at home are about seven kilowatt an hour if you're in a hurry and you're in public we can open up this little flap here which takes you to dc otherwise known as rapid charging using the appropriate 100 kilowatt gun you can charge this between 20 and 80 percent in just 30 minutes so making those long journeys a dream so whilst we're on the conversation of charging let me take you to the rear of this mustang so what we're going to do double click the key and it opens up the power towel gate just quickly we do have the button on the left hand side of the towel gate to shut it once you're done okay let's refer you down here these are the two chargers supplied with the vehicle Firstly, this one here is a regular plug socket that goes into any domestic 13 amp plug socket. So I'm going to give you the figures from 0 to 100. If you're charging in public, they assume uh, you still have at least 20% in the battery. And what happens with rapid charging is between 0 and 20 and 80 and 100, it slows the charging down a bit just to preserve the battery. So again if you're using a 100 kilowatt hour charger that will charge this vehicle between 20 and 80 percent in about 30 minutes if you're using one of these chargers which is your home charger zero to 100 percent will take 33 hours but just to remember you're not always going to have zero in the battery if you're just topping up you know that could be the charger you use on a daily basis if you would like things to happen a little bit faster I'll refer you to this charger which is the 7 kilowatt type 2 connector so at the end here you can see that connector and that'll go straight in the front of the vehicle like I just referred to using this charger 0 to 100 percent is 11 hours so typically if you are doing the miles every day this might be the appropriate charger for you to charge the vehicle overnight but it's good that it comes supplied with both chargers already that's a little bit about charging. If you don't understand charging, please do give me a call. I want 376-550-899. And I'll talk to you about any charging questions you might possibly have. Let's have a look inside the interior. Let me just open that door for you again. I don't think you, you saw that quite properly. Click the button, ready? Oh my God. So, we have some lovely opening doors complemented beautifully with these pilot style door handles inside uh, yeah I love them I think they're a fantastic design and uh, you know classy so coming down we can see your first B&O speaker that is part of the B&O premium audio and it also includes a soundbar on the dashboard as well you guessed it I'll show you that in a second we have the classic interior inside this Mackie which is a perforated leather with some gorgeous red stitching all the way around. We have an ISO fixing seat on the left hand rear and on the right hand rear, so keep the kiddies nice and secure on those longer journeys. Also have the floor mats in there already, please excuse my boot mark, I'm just taking photographs. And down at the bottom there we have a couple of charging ports. So one is a USB-C, so that is the now the fast charging, that'll take you out to about five amps. And we've got the USB, the original one, which is about two amps, 2.1 amp or so. So that is uh, the charging in the rear of the vehicle. And we've got some lovely sound systems in there as well. Let me show you the panoramic glass roof from here. Look, you can see how light that makes the cabin inside. Okay, so let's open the door and let's talk about the front. So in the front, we have all the four electric windows, mirror controls, door handle, B&O speaker, and a three-way memory control on the driver's door card. I'll just pan that round now to look at the driver's seat. Once again, we have a lovely, lovely leather, perforated leather, red stitching, and as you can see, it is in marvellous condition. That comes with a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight-way adjustable driver's seat. I'm just going to jump inside the vehicle now. You can hear a bit of distortion on the microphone, so just bear with me a second.
Now inside the vehicle, to complement the keyless entry, we also have a keyless power start stop. Foot on the brake, the light goes green, click the button, and that will wake up the dashboard. So let's begin by talking about the digital driver display. So you have a nice landscape display in front of you, and I'm a big fan of this. It gives you all the essential information without being too overly cluttered at the same time. So let's get rid of the seatbelt warning. So a little tour of what we're looking at. To the left-hand side, we have the range. So currently 54% battery. Now it's gonna give you 152 miles of range. Ambient air temperature sensor down there. We also have the green ready to let you know the system is all good to go. And on the right hand side, you'll have the digital speedo. Going back to the Heritage and Mustang, it displays it as ground speed. Being a, well, I would say an automatic vehicle, but we don't really have a gearbox. Being a, uh, we'll call it auto, automatic vehicle, we have the gear selector on the right hand side. And just below it is the odometer. So the vehicle has done 11,721 miles. Whilst we're looking here, this is the famous Mustang BNO sound bar. So that runs all the way along the dashboard. The sound system in here is incredible. I've uh, had a little go myself, listened to the radio a minute ago. Yeah, really impressive. So that is the digital driver display. As to pan out slightly, we can see the steering wheel. The right hand side is where you'll find all your media controls, such as your voice command, pick up and decline phone call, volume controls, and previous and next song. The left hand side is where you'll find all of your adaptive cruise control settings. And that comes with your lane keeping system just in the middle there as well. So it's nice and easy, it's an ergonomic place to keep it, just to adjust your speed, adjust your distance, but oh, that's all done by a flick of a switch. So now let's progress to talk about the gigantic 15.5 inch touchscreen module or monitor or infotainment system, whatever you'd like to call it. So let's begin my talking about navigation so the navigation as you can see it's a very clear it's a very precise and it's very easy to use and to your search bar there we're looking at the keypad you would like to come to perkins garages for a day out charlie mike 77 6 sierra alpha that's simple found it already click there and that will navigate us a route obviously i'm already here don't really want it to start shouting at us so what i'll also show you we have a little electricity gun so you can click on there and that's going to find all the local charges to us so if you are uh, scared about being left short charged pardon the pun again i'm on fire this morning uh, you can always uh, find the local charges nice and easily so i just thought i'd show you that right so coming out of there now let's click on the car at the top right hand side we have three individual drive modes so it's whisper active and untamed we have the one pedal driving at the bottom there uh, auto ambient lighting section and repulsion sound so you've got three drive modes we have parking there so it has active park assist so it'll quite literally park the vehicle for you so it's a very nice system if you do struggle with your parking in the camera section i mentioned earlier we have the bird's eye 360 camera below it there we also have the front facing camera we can go to a panoramic view as well and uh, we could also go there like so so, so i love these cameras you can just see how wide that is as well so you can see the silver vehicle there and we can also see the grey focus over there so it's a really wide angled lens on that one so there's so much to talk about this screen so i'm just going to try and show you all the essential pieces of information click up the top there and it'll come down with all the widgets for your apps and that includes apple carplay android auto you've got your owner's manual on there as well this screen as you say is fully supported with apple carplay and android auto so whichever software you have on your phone plug it in using usb data cable and take full advantage of all your phone applications on this screen those of you uh, lucky enough to have an apple phone this also has the wireless carplay as well the wireless carplay is fantastic because we are also treated to a wireless charging pad as well so you can wirelessly carplay and it will be charging your phone at the same time those of you we have the uh, keen eyes might have noticed we have another usb c and another usb uh, a socket down there now we normally have all the controls for the heating and ventilation down the bottom here but they're all put onto the screen so let's zoom out once more there click on this little widget here and it open up the screen to your heating ventilation uh, so we have all the air conditioning up there we can change the vents by simply clicking here and here 
Uh, all your temperature is all controlled on this lovely little slidey bar to the right, uh, left and right hand side. Obviously it's dual zone air conditioning so you can both set your, your temperature to individual levels. So if you do have a really cold passenger, keep them nice and warm by keeping yourself nice and cool. Uh, so that's a bit about the screen. Obviously you've got heated seats there which is a nice adjustable level. Uh, so. I mean, there's so much to talk about the screen, I could do a movie on it. So any more information you need, give us a call. Just quickly, down here we have the rotary gear selector and the electronic handbrake there as well. It's a really nice flush design for this rotary selector. In the essence of time, thank you very much for watching this video. If you did have any questions, please do give us a call on 01376 550 899. Any other questions, please leave in the comment section below. I look forward to meeting you very soon. Please subscribe, like, and leave us a comment. Bye-bye.